Hello and welcome to this press1.co.uk uh, screencast. I'm going to show you how easy it is to configure the Press1 system on the web interface now. So first of all, let's take a look at the call flow. We'll look at a sample call flow. So here's the customer. They're going to call in. There's a time switch here. If the Press1 system is configured for open, it will divert to the open menu. And here we are going to have some actions that are going to take place. In this case, we play a message, welcome Press1 for sales, Press2 for support. If the customer presses 1, they'll be diverted to the sales agent. If they press 2, they'll be diverted to the support agent. If the customer dials in and the Press1 press system is closed, then it will go to the closed. And here we've configured, sorry, we're closed. Please leave a message. And in this case, we're just going to take a message and we're going to send an email. So let's take a look at the web interface. So here is the web interface. We see along the top bar we have a couple of tabs, the main tabs. On the top right we have the phone number. Uh, we have some context help here which makes these um, help. That It gives the context help for different parts of the, the screen but we're going to turn that off because it will be a bit irritating for this screencast. So the first thing is that we have different settings on the opening hours. So we want to have defined opening hours. So we click define opening hours and we decided we're going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday open, close Saturday, Sunday, and we're open from 9 till um, 6 o'clock UK time. Then we click apply changes to make sure that updates. It says your working schedule has been updated successfully. So according to our diagram, we then want to have two options on the open. So we go to the open menu. Now, originally, we can see that we have a message. We have uh, a number of different recordings we can play. These pre-recordings are all set in this recording tab. So here you can see that you can upload and change or add new recordings. Or if you want, there's a little flash playback and you can play back and listen to the messages. Um, you click change to claim, change them, fill in, a, fill in a title, search for a WAV file and it will be uploaded. Okay, so I'll just uh, let's just assume that we have all of our messages in there. Thank you for calling and then we're going to have our closed. We're going to have nobody available or else we'll use the closed. It's so just back to the open menu. Okay, so the first thing is, yes, uh, we're going to answer the call and we're going to we, we want to get an, a, an email notification for every call that comes in. Then we're going to play a greeting. Uh, thank you for calling. And we're going to play it um, two times just in case the person doesn't hear it. And it'll be repeated to them again. Now, this no key press is well, what, this is what happens if, if nothing is pressed. But at the moment, there's no keys on it. So we're going to say press 1 for support. Uh, so we click the 1 and straight away 1 is added to the menu. Then we click 2. And... 2 is added to the menu. Okay, now we uh, what we want to do is when the person actually presses it, you have an option to play another sound. So, for example, you could say, we are now forwarding to a sales agent, but here we're just going to play nothing. So, we'll just put in nothing here. This is just uh, a forward to a number. Okay, so then we'll put in so we'll put in the the sales number and here we'll put in the support number. So here you can see what we can do is we can put in two different numbers if we want. If we have two different phones. Okay, so now we apply changes to that. Now there's going to be one case and that is well, what actually happens if the person is going to miss the call. So you can see that a new, if, if either the person misses the call or the line they forward to is busy, we see something new has popped up here at the bottom and that's the line is busy. So what are we going to play here? We're going to play sorry nobody available. Then we take a voicemail and we email it to my email address here. And that's it. Um, it's Everything is updated. It's now operating as it was in the diagram that we specified. During opening times, the opening times that we configured on this tab, the call will be answered. An email notification will come in for every call. A greeting will be played. Thank you for calling. Then we'll wait for the key press. If the person doesn't press it during the first message, the message will be replayed again two times. And um, if they press one, they will be forwarded to the number. If they don't answer, then it will hop down to line is busy or unavailable. And whatever action is here will take place. And the same thing for number two. It will hop down to here. If for some reason that they can't actually enter digits, then is this action here will play. So nothing will happen and a voicemail will be collected. Now, it would be better if 
we left a message like please leave a brief message so we'll just update that or alternately we can also we could also forward to a number to the front desk so now we'll go back up and we'll just configure what we're going to do on the closed menu so what we said uh, was that well, let's turn off email notification we don't want an email coming in for every call when we're closed because we're going to take a voicemail anyway we're going to play first we're going to play we're going to play nothing to them when they arrive uh, because straight away we're going to jump down to this no key press that means it'll it'll play this message once that's completed it jumps down to no key press it'll play the closed message and then it will take a voicemail and email it to this address and that's it we'll just apply changes and everything happens in real time and that's an example of how we configure the switchboard menu Thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day.